the white coat syndrome is a is a, it, not really a syndrome, but it is a phenomena where when individuals go to their doctors, uh, their blood pressure is sky high, but it's normal the rest of the time. So they have, when they check it at home, when they go to the firehouse when, to get their blood pressure checked, uh, when they use their home machine, their blood pressure is in the normal range. But when they go to the doctor, it's high, sometimes even dangerously high. And uh, that's been termed the white coat syndrome. And, and maybe, uh, but what it really reflects is an individual who has labile hypertension. Um, it is a form of hypertension. We used to laugh this off 20 years ago, and when I was first in training, I said, well, that, you know, we don't worry about white coat hypertension. We've looked at people with that, and although they are not as high risk from a cardiovascular standpoint as those who have high blood pressure all the time, um, they do appear to be increased risk compared to individuals who have normal blood pressure. Yes. One thing that we and others have done, but we at Mayo uh, routinely do, is instead of just checking a single blood pressure when the patient walks in the room, often nervous, hurry, uh, when their blood pressure is bound to be high, we have them sit down and wait for five minutes and we actually average three blood pressures that are taken uh, with an automated machine over a period of, uh, of 10 minutes. And what we see is often, uh, even in those who have a high blood pressure at the start, um, a gradual diminution over that 10 minutes and, and a nice lower average. And that's considered uh, a, a best practice now. Um, and that helps us identify those individuals with sustained high blood pressure versus that true white coat hypertension.